it went on before I pressed the button. I just lifted it up. I'm sorry, I didn't even get to say live with bunny ears. <laughs> I was just setting up my phone and it went off. Oh, this is what you get. Okay, yeah, I was setting up in a new place. I was trying to get the right um, light and everything and poof, I guess, you know, it made it up for itself that this was the moment. Hey guys, how are you today? Um, finally can breathe again through my cold. And uh, it's hey Angela, and it's really, really snowy out. Um, hi Gary. Hi Bunny Gary. Um, you can call me Holly Hops. No. <laughs> so are you all wondering why I'm wearing bunny ears? That's my question. I have a reason. Um, I'm actually helping my dad do a project. Um, again, I'm sorry for the sun. It's just kind of doing its thing. Hi, hi Leo. Um, and I'm excited for my dad. Um, a little backstory is that, uh, um, well, he was a business guy all his life, and he always um, was very hardworking and. Uh, he was like the boss everyone really loved. This is what I saw growing up. Everyone was very um, happy, you know, to be working with him. Um, he did a lot of cool things in business. And I was always the wacky artist <laughs> daughter. <laughs> and he was um, always there for me when I was trying to uh, become a grown-up wacky artist. Uh, um, he helped me with college, um, and if I ever had business questions, because I actually started a business when I was 21, um, hi, and, um, the reason why, well, one of the reasons why I loved telling stories and uh, fairy tales so much was that when I was a little girl, I was not a very good sleeper. And so my dad would put on a puppet show every night for me with his hands. <laughs> so you'd go around, and there was Snakey and Herman. And Snakey was the silly one, and Herman was the, like, straight man. And I think he had the wedding ring on. That's how I would differentiate them. So I'd get these great puppet shows every night, and he'd tell me stories. Um, so that was one of the inspirations of of me loving kind of telling stories, making people happy. Um, so this is another reason I'm very excited that now my dad wants to be an artist and a writer. So I've been helping him out and he wants to do uh, children's books and lyrical fairy tale books that appeal to grown-ups and children can enjoy them too. Um, and so I help build him a GoFundMe page, which, well, Greg, listen, and I'll tell you what's going on with my bunny ears. Uh, <laughs> I help build a GoFundMe page, um, and the link is on my Facebook right now. I think it's Make People Smile, because that's one of the things he really enjoys with his stories. He likes to make people smile. Um, and the first project that he's working on, and this is his art, is Chasing the White Rabbit, and this is a sample book that I'm, this is not the finished book, uh, this is just a sample, I'm helping him create, because um, like all the, the stuff that I learned as an artist, I'm getting to help him uh, now, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and all the art that he creates in this fairy tale book, uh, he, they are actual sculptures, they are collages, um, all of the material is somewhat mixed media, it's found materials and paint, and, um, and the little, um, the little characters are, believe it or not, they're the metal wrappers on wine bottles that he collects from restaurants, um, and then he fashions them, this is one of my favorites, this alligator, into the art of the page, and um, I'm trying to 
find some of my favorites. Oh, I love this guy. Look at this guy. He's just so happy. So it's called Chasing the White Rabbit. That's why I'm wearing bunny ears. And um, I just thought it, it's absolutely darling. And he's really enjoying uh, writing the stories. And he's writing his own original stories, too. And that's what the GoFundMe is going to help do, is help produce uh, these books. So he'll self-publish. And um, if you go over to the link, you'll see that there are gifts. So if you do donate, um, there are some art prints. Uh, this book, that's, that's part of a donation gift. We're just ironing out all the, uh, um, the tweaks and everything uh, before it's finished. And the book is going to be um, on a, a wonderful Strathmore quality um, paper. It's going to be very, very nice. Um, and um, there are even uh, um, options of, of getting um, an original piece of art. You can even see kind of where the metal is folded. It is so cute. So that's what he's been working on. And um, so I'm trying to help. Hopefully I am. Um, I hope you become interested, intrigued. Take a look at what my pop is doing. Um, I'm very proud of him. Uh, <laughs> I think it's really cool, um, you know, that he wants to grow up to be an artist just like I did. <laughs> and um, so I hope uh, you have a look and uh, please, you know, whatever you think you can help with would be great because um, starting a whole new uh, vocation, a whole new, you know, building a whole um, you know, new experience, um, and then being able to publish, um, his books. And, and I think, um, with the updates, he'll, he'll share the names of the other ideas, the other books he's worked on. Uh, he told me he's finished quite a few, so I'm excited. Um, but, uh, they need to be published. They need to be printed. They need to be shared. Um, so I'm hoping that this helps get the word out. Uh, for my pop, my daddy, and uh, I, I think it'll be fun. You can share it with your family. Uh, I, I think kids will like it. And it all rhymes. It's a very, very cute. Um, so, um, let's see. Yeah. And uh, obviously he was inspired by Alice in Wonderland with his first project. And let's, let's see what this one says. It's like story time. That's my one of my favorites. And it says, Ah, the white rabbit. Such a busy fellow. Ready to announce the queen's every bellow. So cute. Oh my god, look, here's the queen. And you can even see the metal from the wine label or that little thing around the top. I don't know. Hey, Wallace. That's my bro, Wallace. Hey. <laughs> and, and then Alice, all at once, started to grow and was told Mile High people must certainly go. When Alice refuses, the queen blows her fuses and like a wild beast turns a deep shiny red, screaming to all, off with her head. There you go. Isn't that cool? So, um... Of course, this one is inspired by a classic, but my dad's been working on his own original stories, and they're all written in rhyme, which is a really fun time. Um, so hop to it. Go to his GoFundMe. And I'll put the link here with this live that um, I actually started uh, kind of soon by accident by just setting up my camera. Oops. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, go have a look, and then um, if you have any questions, just ask me, or just visit the GoFundMe site, and uh, there's a lot of fun stuff uh, by uh, helping him create this whole new world. Uh, you, there are gaffs, gifts, <laughs> there are gifts, <laughs> you'll be our guest, and there are gifts for your donations and your sponsorship. So it's pretty darn cool. Um, so I will let you go to it, have a look, and I'm trying to rhyme.
and I will go sit. No, I can't do a rhyme. My dad's better at it than I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, work on another project that I'll share with you soon. All right? So everyone have a great day. And again, hop to it. You know, you don't want to be late. It is a, a campaign on GoFundMe. To, and this is the first project called Chasing the White Rabbit, even though I'm a purple one. So I'll see you later. Bye.